So now, as we do every year right in the middle of the regional awards, uh, our dear friend, Mr. Bruce Landsberg, former president of the AOPA Foundation and Air Safety Institute, is going to present some awards. But before you do that, Bruce, this is going to be the last year that he's going to serve as a judge for the Archie Leagues. He's going to retire. He's been doing it for 10 years. And we just wanted to let you know how much we appreciate the work and partnership. Well, it's been a wonderful 10 years. Uh, I've watched this event grow over the time, and uh, uh, I just can't say uh, how honored I've been uh, for the privilege. And one of the challenges we had as judges, and I think I speak for my team of judges here, uh, is we only get to pick one Archie League uh, recipient per region. And that struck me as not a very good deal, because uh, as a general aviation pilot, we're a lot more needy than that as you've heard. So uh, the Air Safety Foundation decided that uh, we would uh, develop our own set of awards not to be outdone, and we would come up with the flight assist commendations. And this year was no exception. Uh, we have quite a number. Um, so uh, as good as you are at following instructions, uh, we'll ask that you hold your applause. However, uh, regional uh, recognition is fine. Uh, whistles and cat calls are approved uh, with parental discretion. <laughs> so starting off with the uh, central region, uh, Ashley Callan and Eric, uh, Aaron Merrick will be uh, uh, accepting uh, for the uh, recipients James Melly and Kyle Kraft of Kansas City Center. <laughs> Cat calls are OK. No claps. OK. Um, at flight level 340, uh, they prevented a possible mid-air collision uh, between two airliners when one of the uh, pilots missed an altitude assignment. Uh, Eastern Region, uh, Brandon Miller accepting for Glenn Grassic the Potomac Tracon guided a VFR Cessna 182 safely uh, to land in Knight IMC. I think I've created a monster here. <laughs> My apologies, uh, Trish uh, and uh, Paul. Um, for the Great Lakes region, uh, Brad Christoffel accepting for Jeffrey Smith, John Davis, and Justin Dance. Cleveland Center, working collectively, prevented an almost certain accident involving a VFR Cirrus SR-22 pilot who not only pened penetrated IMC, but also icing conditions. Okay, Northwest Mountain Region, you're going to have a lot to cheer this year because you really outdid yourself. Uh, Andy Marosfari, one of our own here, is accepting for himself uh, for the Boise Tower. You guys aren't making this easy. Um, he prevented an off-airport excursion, which is a euphemism for a crash, uh, with almost instantaneous reaction uh, by advising a uh, Piper Saratoga pilot to switch tanks after uh, the pilot reported an engine failure shortly after takeoff. Uh, good thinking, sir. Um, Mark Harris accepting for Sean Billet, the Boise Tracon, prevented a uh, Piper Cheyenne uh, pilot for encountering terrain uh, during uh, IMC when the flight experienced an avionics malfunction. Phil Hargarten, uh, accepting for Stuart Woodman. This is the Seattle Tracon. And after a missed approach in IMC, a Learjet pilot reported minimum fuel. He should have said he was running on fumes because he didn't have enough fuel to be able to be get vectored back around to make a second approach. Uh, Controller Woodman quickly grasped the situation and co coordinated an opposite direction landing, uh, which uh, resulted in a safe outcome. That's uh, pretty well done. Clay McCarty accepting for Jacques Malot and JC Webb Rocky Mountain Metro Tower. 
He noticed that a Cessna 340 pilot was having difficulty copying ATC clearance and following instructions. Uh, you might be familiar with that occasionally from some pilots. Uh, he requested that the pilot shut down his engines. Uh, he was on the ground at the time, so that was an appropriate guidance. <laughs> and to wait for assistance. Uh, the pilot had an undiagnosed medical condition, and it took a lot of very uh, careful observation to recognize what this problem was as we were listening to the tapes. Uh, it was remarkable what was going on, and the controller just absolutely grasped that. Moving on to the southern region. Come on, southern region, you can do better than that. Much better. Um, Robert Breyer accepting for Kathleen Vareb uh, Cincinnati Tower. Now, how they get Cincinnati in the southern region is beyond me, but um, FAA works in strange and uh, mysterious ways, Mr. Administrator. Um, prevented an intersection collision between two airliners uh, when one of the pilots got half of the clearance right. He got the lineup portion right. He didn't get the weight portion, portion quite squared away. Uh, she scanned the runway and uh, called for a rejected takeoff and prevented a uh, ground collision there. Uh, Billy Casado, accepting for Chris Cambridge, Jim Alcorn, Brian Paulo, and accepting for himself uh, Ricardo Martinez from the Miami Tower. They prevented a likely drowning, a likely drowning in a uh, Cessna 172 who suffered a complete engine failure 20 miles offshore and coordinated an immediate rescue. Heads up, good job, gentlemen. And finally, uh, Clay Matheny, uh, Southwest Region, uh, accepting for Stephen Zepeda and Dana Tillery, uh, Houston Tracon, a VFR Piper Saratoga pilot, entered widespread IMC. Uh, the um, radio transmissions went on for a very long time uh, while uh, these controllers guided this pilot to a safe landing. Uh, we'd like to give congratulations uh, to all the Commendation and Archie League uh, Award recipients. Thank you uh, and the uh, AOPA Air Safety Foundation for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful event over the years. And finally, thank you to everyone in the NATCA family for what you do in guiding we pilots and our passengers safely home every day. Thank you very much. Now you may applaud. <laughs>